I know guys, we're all here still waiting for the Elder Scrolls 6 Red Guard based in Hammerfell. But this is as close as we can get because the Elder Scrolls 3 Daggerfall has actually been remastered as a Skyrim mod for us to play through here today. But first, I'm going to give you a history lesson. Because the Elder Scrolls 3 Daggerfall was actually the second largest Elder Scrolls game. And when I say largest, it was literally half the size of England. It was only surpassed by the Elder Scrolls Arena. But trust me, when I said Daggerfall is still a huge game, the world that you get to explore is 161,000 kilometers squared, or 62,000 miles. That is roughly half the size of Great Britain. Now according to Todd Howard, and I know Todd Howard says a lot of stuff, the game has over 15,000 towns and villages and dungeons to explore because it's all procedurally generated. So the game is actually created on a set of rules as you go along, it just builds itself. The downside is that the game looks like this. It, it's literally a labyrinth to navigate, even with maps. And well, a lot of people find this kind of game quite hard to go back and play in 2019. When we're used to the quality of graphics from games like The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, or Oblivion or Morrowind for that matter, the gameplay has clearly come so far since The Elder Scrolls III Daggerfall, and those that go back and try to play it will be baffled by the traditional RPG mechanics and storytelling that has since been lost to the void. So as you can imagine, recreating something the size of Daggerfall would indeed be impossible. To give you an idea, The Elder Scrolls IV Morrowind is actually 0.1% the size of Daggerfall, because it's not procedurally generated. Everything is handcrafted. So today, my friends, with me ESO, we are going to find out the story of The Elder Scrolls III Daggerfall. Nobody knows the story because nobody under the age of 25 has played it. And that one guy in the comment section who's currently writing a comment to impress everybody here. And by Joe, I look forward to reading that comment and saluting that one man. But for the other 99.999% of the population, this is the Elder Scrolls 3 Daggerfall remastered as a Skyrim mod in a playable state so you can finally find out what on earth the storyline was before Morrowind. And just so you guys know, like the other Elder Scrolls game, this takes place on the continent of Tamriel and we can travel between the two provinces High Rock and Hammerfell where the Elder Scrolls 6 is based. So this is as close as we can get my friends. But with that, let's give the video a like and we can begin. Okay, so just so we're all on the same page, let's go ahead and watch the trailer to Daggerfall, which bear in mind was made in 1996, I believe. 400 years after Tiber Septim's reign. Jesus Christ, that audio is terrible. The bloody circle will close at the Empire. Luckily for us guys, the second part of the trailer is actually a lot more audible. So let's watch that. None may know of this meeting. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor and your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago I wrote a letter to the Queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. 
The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night. For tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Daggerfall. A truly captivating introduction, and may I just say, the acting of this man holding this torch was absolutely incredible. Your job in this scene is to hold this torch. I will hold the crap out of that torch, my friend. So here we are, and obviously our friend Emperor Uriel Septum has sent us to Daggerfall to investigate the mysterious circumstances surrounding the death of King Lysandus and to find and destroy a personal letter he sent to Queen Mynisiria, which never arrived. Let's listen to his request. You wish to see me, Imperial Majesty. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him. But his spirit does not rest. With the spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. You awake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you were in a boat en route to Daggerfell, when a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Ilak Bay like a malefic creature. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water to a promptory rock. There you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You had only a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being buried alive can't when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there was a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin the Emperor's quest. So first, we need to escape the cave. And we actually chose when we started this mod to be a warrior. So as you can see, there's a full set of iron armor and iron slippers. Apparently they're boots, but they're definitely slippers. And an ebony dagger, which is really good. Also, we have chosen to bring with us a car, as you can see. And I'm going to equip his armor right now and drop everything else I'm wearing. Okay, so I've dropped everything that isn't a part of this mod. And as you can see, it's actually added its own armor set. And it looks really good. Like, they've clearly retextured everything. And I'm super impressed with the quality of this. And we also have our ebony dagger as a weapon. And as you can see, I'm playing a carp, but he's only level one. So let's get started. In true Daggerfall fashion, we're obviously going through a corridor. Very much reminiscent to the old FPS games and Daggerfall itself. Aha! A rat! One sec, let's check. I'm just going to leave it on Apprentice because I don't want to bore you with killing rats in corridors. Okay, yeah, it's just a rat. It dies in one hit. We have an ebony blade after all, I guess. We also have rat meat and I have no form of healing right now. A loot stash! Wow, okay. Potion of regeneration, fantastic. And there's four potions here. It really does remind me of an old FPS game. Oh my god, wow. Okay, so let's go upstairs. This is so strange. It's literally a corridor shooter. An old school dungeon game. Archer, is someone there? A giant bat. Oh god. Jesus. God, that thing is rapid. Bat's milk. Cure all diseases. Okay. Whenever we come up against any vampires, it's going to be very helpful. What's in here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Imp. Come over here, you silly imp. One-handed skill increased to 24. I know what I was doing in my cell. Search loot stash. Gold. An icon. It's a picture of Jesus. <laughs> what? Value 50. And an iron saber. Okay, let's have a look at the iron saber. It does 8 damage. Our ebony dagger does more damage. Though I can put that in the other hand just so we look really awesome. And there's also a blessed iron dagger, which does undead flee for 30 seconds. Okay. Well, to be honest, for some reason I can't run. Okay, I can, I can run now. That was weird. Anyway, let's continue down this corridor. 
Who's in here? It's another mouse. Oh no. We're dead. Get Rex up. There's a statue of some lady. Oh goodness me. Goodness me, it's a thief. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That thief was not messing around. At all. Okay guys, we're back. Let's try this again. In fact, I'm going to save the game just here this time. Aha, look, there's that silly rat that came to me last time. Should be a thief around here somewhere. There he is. Oh god, he's got a bloody bow. There we go. Aha! Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. He's actually dead now. Iron Arrow is 15, and he's got Thebes armor. It is light armor. I don't want to accidentally level up my light armor skills, though. We're going to go with heavy armor. It's also got a silver short sword and a silver dagger. I'm going to take his dagger. You see, I never actually played Daggerfall, so uh, I don't really know if we're ever going to be able to sell our stuff. Though it does have towns and villages, so I'm sure we will be able to. It is an RPG game after all. From what I know about Daggerfall, this is a bit worrying. What's down here? Some dead bodies. Fantastic. Okay, this seems very safe. Nice. Look at that face. <laughs> oh my god. There's also a mage. He's got two potions of magicka and some novice robes. Ah, what was that? Was that a steel katana? Blessed iron dagger, which we already picked up. Steel katana, 15 damage. Nice, let's use this. It's a bit slower, but it's got further reach, which is also very nice. Oh! Direct giant back. Give me your milk. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a big skeletal warrior. Get Rex up. One house, skill increase. Yes, please. I remember the skeletal warriors, at least, um, being super hard in Daggerfall. I oh, once said he had an iron shield, didn't he? We need that iron shield. Let's equip that. There we go. Now I can actually defend myself. There's a, there's a very attractive lady in the other room. Look at this lady. What's she doing? Can't believe they actually make me navigate the table to like stop hitting me with that, you fool. Get wrecked. Okay, so she's got steel plate armor. We're gonna equip that right now. So we've already upgraded ourselves. Why was she even carrying that? She's an archer. There's a door open here. Oh Jesus. Get out of here, you silly bat. Let's have a look at our character so far. I mean we got iron armor and steel. We look the part, okay? That looks like a rock's fallen in the ground. I like that they've actually gone to the trouble of kind of like making textures in this game look kind of realistic. Like in terms of, oh, they look like Daggerfall. Yeah, there's lots of crates around here, but you can't seem to search any of them. After playing this and watching me play it, guys, what do you guys think? Do you want me to actually play Daggerfall now? This looks like it's kind of like in an underground section or something. I can hear a troll and I'm not looking forward to facing it at all. In fact, we're going to save the game right here. This is not looking good for us. Oh, there's a thief. Thief! There he is. Why is there a bear in here? Look out, thief. There's a bear behind you. Jesus. Oh my god. Grizzly bear. Die. Jesus. There he goes, dead. We've leveled up as well. This is going well. Do you have anything good? No, just the standard. You have a cave bear pelt. There was a vampire in there at some point by the looks of it. What an interesting home indeed. An empty room, nice. Like Daggerfall in terms of being procedurally generated. They just have random objects in each room. No idea where I am. I just gotta make it out of this cave. I mean, I feel like I'm in a castle now. I'll quickly check. Oh, Privateer's Hole, okay. There's a new area here. Oh, 
Oh, that's a drop and a half. I can hear bats and orcs. It's kind of like being at a zoo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nope. Come at me. Oh, God. Get wrecked, sir. Okay, orc blood, orcish armor. You know what? We've already got mad upgrades here, guys. It's got an orcish bow as well. No, we'll bring that with us. Orcish weapons aren't incredible, though, to be honest. Okay, so now we're upstairs. We came from down there, though, didn't we? There is a throne here, though it is... I'm kind of very interested as to what the Emperor is writing to this Queen, though. I'm excited to find whatever it was. Okay, there's a skull and a few dead bodies. It looks like the Orc seems to have escaped from prison. The soundtrack's kind of uh, quite epic. Considering there's not that much going on. <laughs> I really want to walk up here because I think that loops around to the room we went in before. Hello there. Oh, it's an imp. This is some kind of library. Oh my god! <laughs> I just grabbed him by the head and executed. Jesus. Yes. Someone's trying to do uh, some kind of Dark Sacrifice. I didn't know they had uh, Moon Sugar in this game. That's cool. Iron Gauntlets as well. Nice. What's in here? Can't actually see. Okay. That just takes us back to the other room. So, okay. We've literally gone around in a circle there. Let's go back into this room. It looks like there's also an access point at the top there. And I can see a lever just there. Oh wait, so there's a lever here as well. Let's see what that does. Oh, one sec. No, come back. Yes. So we can actually use this. I don't know if this is meant to be a secret or what. Hell oh, yeah, mate. Look at that. Good damn. This is amazing. I already feel like I could play Dagger Book. I almost want to go back and play it now. I think this is the right way. Get wrecked, son. Uh, let's go up here then. Carry on ascending as far as we can. Oh, yes, look, there's a quest marker just there. Save the game again. Quest marker's in this room. I don't know if it's an enemy. Oh, Jesus. There's a door to the Dark Brotherhood in there. Yeah, come outside. Where I can see you. Get wrecked, son. Yeet! There we go. I like how there's just these random objects you can't interact with. It's very old school. Ah, oh, so this is the boss chest. I guess this must be the end of the dungeon. Yeah, I'll just take all of this stuff. Chainmail armor. Is that better than my current armor? Orcish gives me 43 armor. No wonder I'm like tanky AF right now. I've also got an Orcish shield. Might as well drop this. I will sell that chainmail later. Let's open the door to Daggerfell. Must have been in a pretty spooky castle there. Pretty spooky indeed. Wowie, really? There is literally nothing. Oh, there's a town there. All right, guys. I'm going to save the game here and we're going to do the next episode tomorrow where we will have a look what's in town. But I mean, already you can see this game is from a bygone age. Skyrim has come a long way since. I mean, <laughs> wow. Thank God for this signpost. Otherwise, I wouldn't know which direction to go. The town is that way. <laughs> look at the raven. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Raven. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And you can also subscribe and press that bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you as soon as the next episode is out. So you can continue watching this rather strange adventure. It is a step back in time, but it's a very playable step back in time. So I really want to play the next episode right now. And I will edit it and put it out as soon as I can for you guys. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye and have a fantastic day.